Good morning. Welcome to Friday. Friday is always a busy day on the day by day farm because it is so cryptic. I love the sand puts a fan down here for the horses. Gabby is at Kaylee's. Sophie's getting dressed. And then we're going to start this day. Sam's at work, which means I'm in the barn. I'm not going to lie though, I love my barn days. Love them. They're the most relaxing. I love my barn partners, my puppies. I love my barn horses. Day spent in the barn is day well spent. If I could actually spend a day in the barn, it would be glorious. But get it in there, little mini. I just wanted to update you guys on a couple of things. One, a couple of vlogs ago, you guys heard Sam say we could get new horses, and I was shocked. I was shook. I was like, it was a, it was a mistake. It was an error. And then yesterday. Yesterday, the day before yesterday, he sent me an ad for two minis, a stallion mini and like a little female. And he's like, we need them. They can drive, they can do all these things. We need them. And I was like, what the heck is wrong with you? So yeah, finally it's Sam telling me we need minis. I'll show you a picture of them right here. But yeah, for some reason, Sam's feeling the need to buy new horses. I'm not going to argue with him. I'm not going to complain about it. But I'm not feeling the need for new horses. No new horses for the day-by-day -day girls. Also, I'm not sure if I updated you. Chino was still off. And when I say off, he's like, he, like, every sixth or seventh step, he takes a wrong step. And the, the farrier, like, tried something different this time. He put a little wedge on one side because he said, like, the way he loads his... Feet are different on both sides. One side's perfect, the other side. And sometimes horses like that and sometimes horses don't like that. So I don't know exactly. But the last time Chino had even like the tiniest of stone bruises, it took him three months to recover. And sometimes that happens with stone bruises. So we're just going to wait and see. But at least we had, knock on wood, a pretty good summer showing him. Gabby got to realize some of her dreams. But um, she has qualified for champs. As long as she doesn't get bumped out of past seventh place, she can still go to champs if he's better, if he's okay. So we're going to see how that goes. Maybe look into leasing a horse and for the EQ round because you can do that. So I don't know. Lots of things to think about. Lots of changes. Lots of, lots of new stuff. But today is today and we're going to deal with today today. And that's the beauty of life. You never have to have it all figured out today. No matter how big the problem, no matter how big the situation, no matter how much stress, you don't have to figure it all out today. You just take your time, let everything happen, and if you let go and let God handle it for you, it's even easier because things just happen in a natural, easy progression, and it always happens the right way when God's involved. So every day, day by day, day by day, you guys, take it day by day. The only horse that doesn't actually throw a fit if her friends leave is, or the only horse that does throw a fit if her friends leave is Willow. Gracie's good, Penny's good. Right. Hold on there, Missy. Yeah, Daisy's a horse, she has to enter through the gate. Come here. Come here. Sometimes Gracie does a show, puts on a show for us when we let her free, but I don't think it'll be today. Yeah, only when it's not hot out. The show days are coming. It's almost fall. Nope, no show today. Did well, you know your dad wants to buy two minis? Yeah, I'm happy. He's, she's happy about it. Sophie still likes bugs, still likes frogs. Like, it's heartbreaking when your kids start to grow up, you guys. It kills me. It's not my favorite. Oh, has to happen. But, and I get that it has to happen, but it is heartbreaking heartbreaking when your kids have to grow up and leave the nest and you're all alone and you're not ready yet like I thought I'd be ready at this point but I'm not I thought I would want to rest at this point but I don't I want my kids to stay young for a little bit longer Sophie you're gonna stay young forever no you're growing up yeah. why because I can't stay young why can't you stay young? I don't want any rules. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I understand that. Once I'm older, I don't have any rules. But how many rules do you actually have? That aren't fair. You have any rules that aren't fair? When you guys tell me to go to bed, you gotta be saying Well, how often does that happen? A lot. 
Coven's occasionally because you're grumpy. And I know you need sleep. I wasn't grumpy yesterday. Well, yesterday Gabby wasn't even here. That's it though. That's the real reason, guys. Kids don't like rules. You can tell our hay is fresh cut, you guys. Mmm, it smells so good. For any of you guys that are interested in our homeschooling journey, um, today is one of the days that I have set aside, or at least a couple of hours today, to set up some of our curriculum. You guys know Gabby's going into grade 9, so she's doing high school online through our high school system, through our government system. Uh, Sophie's still doing homeschooling with me, grade 7, and we have specific books for that, but I always try and go on this website called Teachers Pay Teachers. You guys probably can't see that. I love this website. It's such a good resource. And I use it to buy additional things, like things that she's she's more advanced in. I can find more advanced stuff for her, or things that she's behind in. I can find more advanced, or more. I can find things that are better to help her. I can find things that are more hands-on. You can find the program that you want, and then you can take a look at it and see what it actually looks like. These are 60 writing prompt activity cards. I love, and we do writing like this every single day. Super cool, so I probably will buy this thing for her. I know a lot of people are already going back to school. In Canada, our season is a little bit later. We don't go back till the end of the first week of September, the beginning of the second week of September, I guess. So we still have a couple weeks left of summer, but I need to get prepared and get stuff done. And you guys know, like, show season is crazy. And if Gabby actually gets to go to Champs this year, then it's going to even be more crazy because it's, the weekend before they go back to school. So I really need to get to get my stuff together and get everything all set up, get everything all bought that we need and prepare for school. So that's what I'm doing. I have like one hour until we have to leave to go get Gabby. I got you coffee and I ordered you potato wedges. They don't have them this morning. Yeah, they did have them and they said yes. And then guess what happened? Did they not give you any? They did not give them to me. Did they charge you? Yeah. Well, and go back around and get them. That's too far. Uh, he took my name. I called them and said, like, what the heck, man? And then he said, oh, don't worry. Next time you come, just tell them your name and you can get them. So next time we go, you can get them. Okay? Here's your drink. also managed to bring in all of our main delight treats. I'm going to go give one to our friend that's here. And not the whole package. No, I'm just going to give them give them a couple. What Kaylee said to me last night? What Kaylee said to you know my voice is getting better. Yeah. So Kaylee, last night when I was like half losing my voice, half the things I said wouldn't even come out because I was yeah. losing my voice because I was screaming all day in the water with the boys. No, we were at the private dock, only us. Oh. Yeah. Oh. They got this water trampoline thing and you jump on it and it has that thing where you sit on the end and you go, Whoo. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> um, I was screaming there. That's how I got a bruise. Oh, you were screaming and you got a bruise? Oh my gosh. I, I jumped. To try to hit the ladder, well, but then here. I hit the ladder Ooh. of the trampoline because I tried to jump on it. So did you go to the boy beach? No. Oh, okay. And then um, at night, I was half losing it. It was also like 12 a.m., 11.45 a.m. I went to grab water and my voice was going on and off and then I got back and it was getting better. And Kelly's like, you sound hot. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Hot, it's like, different than this voice, but like my voice said it. Really oh, hot, husky. Apparently. Oh, funny. Alright, let's go catch your boy. Yeah, out of the mouths of 14 year olds. But anyway, Fiona wants us to try Chino today. Just a one last attempt at Trillion. And we're gonna do that. Oh my gosh, look, look at that pigeon. That's so cute. Trying that's to that's tell us something. Pigeon? I love that pigeon. Uh oh. Gabby scared it away. Super cool. Anyways, we're here to try out Chino. Oh, they're right in the shelter. And they're right here. Hello, right in the boys. shelter. Look, we got Cookie Monster. Oh, Finn hurt us. It sounds weird when I say that. <laughs> yeah. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. <laughs> Aw. So, Sophie didn't come because we're coming back tonight. We're having a show. Gabby, are you showing? Uh, maybe. Hi, handsome one and handsome two. Hello. Oh, it's hot in here. One, you get the melted one, Finn. I held it in my hand and it melted. So we're coming back tonight to do show prep.
Look at this. Does he have a cut on his head? There. Above his eye? Yeah, there, yeah. <gasps> what the heck? It's just hair missing. It's not an actual oh. cut. I would not like to see our boys hurting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're not coming. Oh, he's such a love. Such a love. He's changed since Storm left, though. He's trying to take over the leadership role. Look at how much calmer he is, though. He is. I think he likes jumpers. I think he likes it a lot better. You're not coming. I'll be back tonight for you, though. Okay? It's okay. Uh, I might have to bring him in. Gabby's just so basically, you know, like nobody wants to tell Gabby that she's not going to try him this weekend. So we're using like the natural, natural process to let her know she's gonna rot him and try him, and he's gonna still be lame, and then he'll be okay. I don't know what she's planning to do. Are you just lunging him? You're riding or lunging? But that's a bigger ace. Wear it. Yeah, so the last time he got a bruise, couple of some like last summer, you guys might remember that he was fine, fine, fine. Had issues, had issues only when he went around a corner. All right. Don't know what that means. I think you gotta lunge him. All right, so Fiona said what I said. He needs a lunge. Ugh. All right, I'm going to film this for Fiona. If this guy is not lame now, I'll lose my mind. All right, so I don't know what happened. I do not know what the heck happened, but Chino seems sound, completely sound, but he's still losing weight and our uh, he's getting more green. He's getting uh, more. Not even ridden, so he would. Not even bad. ridden. Uh, he's not eating the hay out. He's he's not eating the hay during the day. He's not out there eating the hay. There's like a perfectly fine round bale right in front of him and Finn. No other horses, and he's not eating it. And I, it's because he wants the grass. So he's trying to eat the grass instead. He's such a fussy guy, and there's not really much grass. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to get a supplement again and try and because once a horse loses weight, bringing him back up is really hard, and he loses weight fast. Okay, I'm gonna do a test. I'm gonna do a trick on Penny. So every time the girls take the ponies, she just comes running to well, not running. She usually walks. She comes right to the gate to me. She comes right to me so I can put on her halter. So today. The girls are going to take the horses and I'm going to stand in the horse shelter because it's way cooler in the horse shelter because it's freaking hot out here. And I'm going to see if Penny finds me and comes to me. They never even use the horse shelter. I mean, they're not out here in the rain. We bring them in, in the rain. Yeah. We're an enabling family, enabling horse family. My, my horse is going to come to me. Oh, that horse is going to come to me. Uh-oh, the gate's open. We left the bottom gate open. This is not good. Mom, Penny, I'm in here. Penny, Penny. Penny, I'm in here. Penny. She looked at me, she saw me, and she was gonna come here, and then she went there. Let's wait and see what happens. If you want to see some crazy and also lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, for sure it's so funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow. We just, ooh, ooh, ooh. What we want to do tonight. Waking up at sundown, the world's our playground. And we don't even have to pretend. Every time we're together, it doesn't get better. And Days like a weekend, we just like ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow, we just ooh, ooh, ooh. What we wanna do tonight, so don't tell me how to act or how I should.
just try to shut us down But you know they can blame us for acting shameless Now we just like to have some fun We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh We don't worry about tomorrow We just, ooh, ooh, ooh What we wanna do tonight Before we all grow old So don't tell me How to act or how we should getting painful to watch you guys if I walked over there I swear to God you just come right to me all right so this is the test we're gonna see if Penny comes to me she looked at me just now she knows where I am I'm waiting to see if Penny comes to me all right so this is the test to see how much Penny loves me this is does uh does your horse really love you because if she really loves me when her best friends leave she'll come to me for comfort instead of run like crazy Let's hope she doesn't run like crazy. Hey. Right over here. Come on. Penny. Come here, Penny. Pen. All right, that was a fail. She doesn't love me that much. She loves the grass better than me. She doesn't care about her friends. She doesn't care about me. She's looking at me now, though. She's probably thinking, all those times I stood over here and made her walk to me. And she's making me walk all the way to her today. All I asked was for a glimmer of appreciation. A glimmer of appreciation. A glimmer of, I know you're there, Laura. I love you. I'll come to you if all my friends are gone. That's all I asked. This little pony's... You were running. I swear the heat changes you. It changes people. It makes you not want to do anything. It makes you exhausted. It makes you want to run <laughs> if you're a pony. You guys probably think that all we do is lounge around and play with the horses. It's not true. This garden has been killing me. I'm not even joking. I had so many, I had so many tomatoes that I actually made my own pasta sauce and this is it. And I'm not gonna lie, it's the best pasta sauce I ever had in my life. And look at how thick it is. Like, it's so good. I'm gonna give Sam a taste. Are you guys good at solving Rubik's Cubes? Because I suck at it. Did you do it though? I took the stickers off. Oh my gosh, I told her to do that. Keep in mind, Sam doesn't like anything that I like. And he's Italian and very picky about sauce. Like, sauce is life for Italians. I think I need to kick him. The appropriate response always is, wow, that's amazing. I just ate a pepper. Oh, so I put peppers in them. You don't like peppers in it? All right. Hey, guys. Now, what's your real answer? Awesome. It's awesome. I opened this even, like, a while ago because I was made pasta. And I felt so bad because it was so cute packaging. Interesting. All right, Sophie's already ready. We're, we're here. Finn got the good spot with the fan. All right, gotta get ready. Yeah, gotta... she hates this spot. Ever since I started bringing my horses here, now all of a sudden she loves this spot. Yeah. Who's <laughs> a fan? <laughs> all right. What the actual heck is that? Muscle. Yeah, he's a muscly boy. Oh my goodness, he was like tightening his muscle and it is, it is big. He's like, don't touch my muscle. Don't touch my muscle, hello. I literally noticed a massive change in our horses since the storm left. They like us better. <laughs> Sounds mean to say that, but literally I think he was like such a powerful leader that they didn't feel like they could really go with us that much. And now like Finn has really turned around a lot. Finn loves to groom people. And he always loves to groom Sophie when I do it. 
Really All right, go ahead, get ready. I love being to the, at the barn at night. We're riding at 8.30 tonight so that it's cool because today it was scorching. It was like the hottest day. Was it the hottest day? Yeah, it's like 43 degrees or something. All right, there's a problem. We're riding at night. It's our first ride at night and literally that Last you might not be able to... At night. Oh, that's a good thing to just bloom out there. Whoa. I don't think he bucked you off. He's, a, he's, well, he's happy so now. Up. That was probably a long time ago. It was when you were like 10, 9. I think it was when I was 8. Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful?